what's going on today. I'm gonna to show you how to perform the step up exercise in a kind of advanced step by step breakdown. Make sure you're doing it intelligently. So a lot of people can do this, it's kind of common sense, but I'm gonna show you to do it perfectly. So first and foremost, grab an adequate weight. Um, the lighter your weight, the higher you can step up. If I have like five, 10 pounds, I can go really high. I'll talk about that a little later, but for me, I like being just underneath my knee, grabbing a decent weight. I got 40s here, I gotta talk and do it, so I'm going a little lighter. I'm gonna do about 80s. So, key components of the step up, I'm gonna have your head up, you know, posture yourself, never slouch. This seems very obvious, but a lot of people like to slouch. Stand up tall and strong. Now from here, I'm gonna lift that knee as high as we can. Now you don't wanna step into it. I see a lot of people do this, fall and scrape their shins. You wanna avoid that at all costs. So keep your focal point forward um, when you're driving. If you drive down, you're gonna get it outside of the lines, you're gonna overthink it. Put that head right up. Step all the way up off that foot. Now we're gonna power off of that quad, standing up nice and tall. So quads right here, and this is the muscle we really wanna be using on that step up. So here, you can see we have a little bit of an angle. Powering off that leg, standing up confidently. Arms are to the side, and then I like to alternate safely back down on the toe to the heel. And once again, you go back up, stand up strong, come back down. Now you can vary how you will do this. Now some people like to go up with one leg, down with the other, up with one leg, down with the other, etc. It's pretty common sense. Um, common mistake you want to avoid, and this is the biggest one, aside from putting your head down, is uh, only stepping up to the edge of it. Here you can see my balance is gonna be backwards, it's not natural. I'm not able to explode off that quad, as you can see me doing here, and it's just sloppy. You wanna finish that rep. Stepping all the way up confidently, come up strong, come back down with control, back up, and take your time here. It's not a rush, find your rhythm, get comfortable, it's gonna burn. So as you all know, an extremely important part of a well-rounded training routine is unilateral work. Now this exercise is fantastic because it's not extremely hard, but it will work each leg individually. So the first variation is quite simple, but at the same time, it's hard because you get a nice burn on the quads. There's gonna be more tension on the quads, but a little bit less time under tension within the exercise. So leg right in the middle, okay, chest up, step all the way in, right into the middle of the box and then down, okay? This is gonna be a quad killer. You keep that vision forward, step all the way back, and then repeat. Once you do 10 to 12 reps of one leg, switch to the other leg. All right, now on to a more advanced variation. This one is a killer. It's gonna take you quite a bit of time. Gonna kill the forearms because you're holding on to these heavy dumbbells. Well, not so heavy, but here we go. Just so step forward, just like the regular step up, all the way down. Squat, chest up, and then repeat. Once Quad you do, killer. Once you do each leg, after five or 10 reps, then you're gonna start leading with the left leg, okay? Last but not least, I know this is one of Kyle's favorite exercises. As you can see, he's killing it here in the background. Um, this is gonna be the step up with the knee up variation. This is fantastic for explosiveness. Anyone who's an athlete, they come in, I say you need to be doing this exercise. It's great because you have to learn to use that unilateral ability to step on that one foot and drive through that leg, utilizing that quad, coming into those glutes, bringing that knee right up, just to get that quick, quick explosiveness that will translate to sport. Uh, so key things to consider here, make sure you step all the way up. Uh, you don't wanna go through it too quick and shin yourself. I see this happen way too much you know people try to they don't step up enough and they fall and hurt their shin that's not a good time but key things just step on that foot be as explosive as you can bring that knee right up to the ceiling and alternate uh, I like to do this without a weight if you want you could do it with a weight vest or a weight backpack uh, I find it's a more natural variation than having your arms to your side because you do want to alternate them so when my left knee is up my right hand is up and vice versa and that's how you're gonna excel with this exercise so thank you so much for checking out this video you can see how much detail we put into an exercise as simple as a step up we're here to make sure you're learning as much as you can and we do the very same with our coaching so definitely check out our online coaching services first link in the description down below. We'd love to help get you in the best shape of your life. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.